Hi, this is Shannon with She Can Sassy Nails by Shannon. I am getting started on my next Manny. I am doing a um, one of our bingo Mannies in Stacy's Sassy Styles. Oh, I forgot my little thing here. All right, hold on. Put all my little scraps in here. All right. I am going to do a pattern is the little bingo square that we're doing and I am doing um, a polka dots over some of these oh I forgot to look what the set was called this is from the October sub box this is the purple um, to black ombre glitter just a second let me see what it is called I don't know if this set Oh, I, I didn't plan that. Hold on. What did I call? Oh, Shadow Sisters. I did know that. I totally forgot. I wonder if I can make this strip work on this finger. I am going to try. Because I'm trying to do, use both sides. Use the uh, ombre side and the solid side in a little mixed look. Uh, I didn't line that up perfectly, which is unfortunate because it would have fit better. But I do have uh, the nail strengthener on. So once I set it down, it was not moving. So, because I had a little too much on that side and not quite enough on that side, but it'll be okay. I am going to... I love this color. It's very much me. So my plan was to do two nails reversed and then two nails, um, let's see which ones I want to do. I'll do this and then go on the other hand and do the other two. So let's see if I can do that. So I'm going to do the ombre it reminds me of the uh, nuclear fusion set um, as far as like the sheerness it's like the old school they used to make all the glitters like this or at least the ombre a bunch of the ombre glitters were like this early on and then they started doing them over like a white backing um, sometimes a black backing depending on the colors but I like the sheerness. I like that they're sheer, but I just wear them on their own. I don't want to, I'm not putting anything under them. I am going to do a polka dot. Oh, is this going to cover my nail? Barely. Maybe it didn't. It didn't get the tip. Dang it. I will cut my, I'm going to have to cut or file a little bit off of my tip of that nail which is not a problem I don't keep my nails this long all the time so I don't mind it's just barely just a little tiny bit short where did that go oh it stuck to my thumb all right just a second here I get that off I always get that stuck Ugh. all right so I did the two with the ombre and then the two without and then I'll just um, I'm gonna have to trim my nail because it's a little short see if we have to do the same on this side all right I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can do the same thing on this side we're gonna do the ombre and the pinky I'm going to have a lot more excess because this is not, this is a bigger strip, but it's okay. So this was definitely my favorite set from the October sub box, Shadow Sisters. Um, it's kind of a purpley magenta color with the, sorry, I'm like flipping this. 
Let me see which nail is longer because uh, they're both. Uh, I'm going to do it on this one. Just because that other one is so pinky, so tiny. My little curvy pinky just doesn't grow very long. Oh, my crooked pinky. I don't know why it never has. So, anyway. You know, some people weren't a huge fan of the October sub box. Some people really loved it. I liked it a lot, uh, mainly because of the set. But I did like the overlay. Um, you know, the tip. The I, I have worn the French tips, that V-tip. Um, they're okay. I liked the their cut. Um, if I wanted to do the V-tip style like that, because I don't like to uh, have to match up V tips. I'm not very good at matching up French in general. All right, so we'll do the same two and then uh, they did on this other hand and then I'm going to work on the polka dots. So what I wanted to do was add the polka dots to the ombre nails, but now I'm wondering to have it just showing on the tips. Um, Sorry if there was like a weird pause. Somebody called. Oh, this is not going to be long enough. My, my nails that might be too long to get too... Because that's what happened on the other side. This is kind of short. I'm just going to do the same thing. If I need to trim off a little of my nail or file it, I will. Because it's like just barely... Well, that one covers. Look at that deceiving. I thought it wasn't going to be long enough. I'm going to do the polka dots, but now I can't decide if I want to do it on the solid two nails. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do it on those two. I was going to do it on these. Just have like the tips coming through. Oh, you know what? I got two rubber cuticle pushers and not my wood stick. So hold on a second. So I can clean off this excess and then we're going to add the overlay because the little bingo spot I am doing is polka dots. It's what's a, a pattern. Use polka dots, stripes or chevrons or something. Some sort of pattern. And I, I don't recall if I've worn this set yet. Um, the polka dot got polka dot com. I have both polka.com and do or dot, but because of, this is such a dark color, I wanted just a subtle, it's going to be a subtle um, design because there won't be a, ton, a lot of contrast. And then because of that, I thought it would be best to do the bigger polka dots than the smaller ones. But I also was considering putting it on an, an angle, which definitely uses more strips. Or the bigger strips. I don't know if I can. Because then I don't get two out of. Maybe I'll just do it normal so I don't waste. Eh. I don't know if it matters if I do it at an angle. I was thinking I would like that look. I actually kind of like it like that. But maybe I won't. I think I'm just going to do, I want this one and this one. Let's just see. So because it's a dark color with a dark, um, you know, the overlay is black and it's not going to have a lot of contrast. It's going to be more subtle, which I'm going for. Okay, sorry, hold on. Oops. I haven't worn this one yet, I don't believe. I'm going to have to trim the edges. Oh, it's curvy. It's, it's sticking. I don't usually use both on the same hand, but 
right as well. Will I put that on Crooked? I don't know if it matters if it's polka dots. I'm gonna have to cut that. Kind of a bummer. All right. Oh, I like it. So it's just a subtle polka dot, a subtle pattern. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. <laughs> All right. I was kind of going for a little bit more simple this time. I didn't want to do too much craziness. I just finished, or I had, took off my Halloween Manny and then Oh, I bought so much candy and then I hardly got any trick-or-treaters. All right, let me put these away quick and then we'll finish the thumbs and the other hand. Well, that is already on. I didn't turn off my flat iron, so hold on. Let me use that so I can turn it off. I also want to start a fire. Actually, I'm pretty sure this will turn off eventually by itself. Um, so last night was Halloween. So I just took my Halloween Manny off last, uh, this today actually. Um, but we got, we didn't get a crazy amount of trick or treaters. So I was giving everybody just a handful of candy. So I'm going to cut a couple handfuls, but yeah, I only kept our lights on for like two and a half hours. Maybe I think I trimmed them off by 830. It's really hard with the dogs because they want to go down and see who's at the door every time and they're barking and they don't they definitely don't rest when on Halloween nights so we did not keep the lights on very late and then because I don't want to and then I can't let the dogs out by themselves we have to bring them out on leash on Halloween because I don't want them scaring small children who came in our yard but that's all right. So I have a, so we have all this extra candy, but of course, um, my family will eat some of it, but I have a vendor event coming up in a couple weeks, well, two weekend, not this weekend, but the next weekend. And, um, I always like to have a, like a bowl of candy out because that gets all the kids and passerbys so they can grab a piece of candy while they're walking. It's a good little traction I guess way to get people to the booth and then I gotta make signs and stuff for that so I have that left to do but so that's what my extra Halloween candy is so if you're if you're local in the Twin Cities especially the western suburbs I'm going to be at a vendor event in Maple Grove the 10th and the 11th of November so if you are local um you know, I'll have some of the makeup. I don't have a ton. I have some of the lipstick. I do have a bunch of mascaras if you want to try it. Um, I have some removers if you want to save on shipping. And also, hey, let me know in the comments if you got a lot of trick-or-treaters. If you didn't, you know, if you didn't even turn your lights on, what do you guys do? Do you have yet little kids and you go out trick-or-treating my... Um, in middle school I had no interest in going out or doing anything. My oldest is 16 and they actually went to, to a friend's and had their own little Halloween party and were supposed to carve pumpkins and they weren't going to go trick-or-treating and then they ended up going trick-or-treating in her neighborhood. Um, they did a group costume and like the way the teenagers do group costumes are kind of funny I think because you're getting le less and less uh, you know, elaborate. We did buy ears and a tail because uh, they did like Alice in Wonderland theme. So one of the, they were all different characters. And my child, my daughter was uh, the Cheshire cat. So we had little cat ears with the stripes. They came and they're like a little more pink than I think the Cheshire cat is, but that's okay. And then they like wore a matching striped shirt. So, and then they did face paint. So you know, got into character a little bit, which was more than, I'm like, whatever, they could be doing a lot worse, so, if they want to go trick-or-treating, go for it, so, I, uh, 
I think they left their pumpkin. They didn't even carve the pumpkin, and they left it at their friend's house anyway. So, which is fine with me. So, we did not have any pumpkins this year. We did have trick or treaters, but maybe, oh, maybe we got thirty total. Not a ton. And then I did put out some these little like scanny QR code things that I had gotten one of the um, one of the friends from the nail group had has a company that she started that does augmented reality and they it's like a QR code you scan and then like character you can get basically have kids like take their picture or video with like a ghost or a dinosaur or, um it's kind of cool. We had a few people do it. I didn't have a lot because not, you know, the older kids that came didn't have parents with them and were too much in a hurry to do anything like that, but that's okay. So, oh, I was going to use those, but you know what? I don't really probably need to. Oh, I think I'll save the, I forgot that I was doing the ombre. I could see what the ombre, I wanted, I kind of wanted to see what it looked like with the, just the ombre on the, you know, the black polka dots showing on the tip. So maybe I will do the thumbs. All right, let me clean this up first. Because I did use the wide strip. So, all right, we have our kickoff call today. Um for November. So we did get a peek at the, um, well, we're going to have our kick up call, but last night, cause it was the end of the first day of the month, we did get the host set, um, peak, like little flyer and for December, I mean, sorry, I just totally missed November for November. And the sub box preview for December. So that's why I was thinking December. So we did that and uh, we got those and which two did I use? I did use the bigger. And then um, the sub box. Oh, no, I'm going to have to look because I don't even remember what it is called because I just got it last night. December is called Galactic Gala or Gala. Is it Gala or Gala? I never know. It says, uh, embark on a high class hyperspace journey with a selection of celestial shades that evoke futuristic cosmic glamour. Choose from the three stellar mixed many recommendations included in the box. A how to guide or boldly go and explore a new out of this world custom nail look. But then on the flyer, I swear their copy in the email and the flyers aren't, haven't been matching. So hold on, let me finish this nail and grab the, oops, open the flyer quick and read that. Cause oh, what did I do? I got like a bubble. All right. All right, hold on. Let me open. I have it on my desktop here. It says, so the flyer was different. It said, you're invited to our extra galactic ball where you'll dress in divine glitter and drink celestial champagne. So, and the box is definitely like, it almost looks like a black glitter or a black shimmer. Maybe we'd hope that was something we don't have. And then oh, definitely a rose gold, um, glitter on the box or on the flyer and the box. And it has like a starburst kind of effect to it, um, which I will post this and the, um, so this says, extra galactic ball where you'll dress in divine glitter and drink celestial champagne and the other one says high class 
hyperspace journey with a selection of celestial shades that evoke futuristic cosmic glamour. So cos they're talking celestial, cosmic, so kind of sci-fi is what I'm thinking, but like a gala or gala. Seriously, I don't know how to say that word. Um, but it's so it's like fancy futuristic is kind of what it sounds like. And I don't know what that can mean to different people, but um, definitely sounds glittery since glitter is mentioned and glamour. And then I don't know. I think it sounds awesome, but I am kind of a future sci-fi nerd via my husband. He got me into all that stuff even when we were dating watching those types of shows and then our, our kids like to watch them too and um but I do sorry I need to smooth this because I got a like a wrinkle okay I really like the polka dot over the ombre because it's like the subtle maybe I should have switched it and done it on the no it's cool I'm happy how this turned out okay my last nail have you guys, have you been so impressed at how I've remembered to do my thumbs till the very end, even if I'm doing two layers? It has taken me, what, five years to do that? Oh yeah, that's right. I just finished my, um, we just finished our five color verse, fifth color versary party in the VIP group. So I am, I got mo I got two, through two of the names the list of names today earlier and then I fell asleep. I got tired. <laughs> so then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, do the rest later and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do, go live and do the drawing for that and for the end of the month, um, of October, the nail fees and all that stuff. So hopefully I can get all that. All right. Oh, that one went pretty quick. So this is, I'm digging it. This is uh, Shadow Sisters with polka.com. And then this one has both on that. So my thumbs, I do like how those turned out. See, that was my idea to do it on those two nails. And then I got chickened out that it wouldn't show up enough, but I like it. So the thumb might be my favorite. I suppose I could just add it on all the nails. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. All right. You guys have a great day or great night, depending on when you watch this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.